Hey, how's it going? Welcome back. My name is Joe. The Dreamcast was launched 20 years ago, back in November 1999. It was considered as a flop against its rival by some critics and reached a premature death in 2001. I, on the other hand, actually loved it and I spent countless hours playing Crazy Taxi, Sonic Adventures and Shenmue on it, just to name a few. The upcoming Shenmue 3 kickstarted my quest to play the original again. You see what I did there? You know, since it was a Kickstarter project at first? I was actually a backer too, but because of the recent mess they created, I actually pulled out at the end and got my refund back. Anyhow, I wanted to replay the original Shenmue game again to refresh my memory, and I must confess I never actually finished Shenmue 2. Uh, unfortunately my Dreamcast doesn't work anymore and I still have the game discs uh, but just don't have a working console. Never in my wildest dream did I think it was actually possible to see and play on a working Dreamcast emulator on a Mac. I mean, what? I simply assumed it was not possible and I didn't even bother looking for it, but somehow it actually does exist. Not only that, but combined with an Xbox 360 controller, Shenmue running on an emulator on a Mac with an Xbox controller. I mean, what in the world? <laughs> the program is called uh, ReDream. I guess that's what it's called uh, rather than Red Ream, surely. It's completely free, available for the Mac and Windows. There is a $5 premium version where it will give you the option to render the games in HD, although I haven't tried that function out yet myself, I might consider buying it in the future. The original console only supports 640x480 resolution and the free version of the app only goes up to 1600x900 uh, pixels in resolution. Installation is super easy, the latest version as of today is 1.4.0 and it's still a working progress. Just extract the file and you are good to go. No installer, no complicated setup process at all, and the file size is only 6 megabytes. On their website, you can check the game's compatibility list. At the moment, they reckon it's uh, compatible with over 80% of the games. Uh, for me, the most important game was, again, Shenmue, and that works perfectly. I'm running this on my MacBook Pro from 2013 with the 360 driver I have previously installed and it works perfectly. I don't even have to remap any of the buttons. The UI is beautiful and clean. You can navigate using the mouse or the controller. You can change the resolutions, regions and turn on and off the FPS counter. Unfortunately, I couldn't get the keyboard to work with games like uh, The Typing of the Dead, and hopefully they will fix that one day. Gaming experience is just amazing. Uh, there are little graphical glitches here or there, but nothing uh, significant. For example, sometimes in Sonic Adventures, I found the audio would be slightly out of sync. As mentioned, there's a full list on their website which has all the info letting you know which ones work and which ones are still broken. Obviously you can't connect a VMU, but don't worry, you can still save the game progress files in-game as it somehow emulates a connected memory card too, so perfect. One of the best features I found is when you press the back button on the 360 controller, it goes into some sort of turbo mode. Of course, it's difficult to play in this super speed up mode, but it might be useful if you have to cover a lot of grounds in the games. But what I found most useful is during loading screens, you can press this button and it speeds up the loading time significantly. It's almost like a turbo overclock button. Again, using Shenmue as an example, there are lots of loading screens and this is definitely helps to speed up those sections in the game. Conclusion then, it's a super amazing little app that just works for the most part. Uh, it's not perfect. Uh, games that require the keyboard or the Dreamcast light gun, for example, won't work in the meantime, but I'm happy for what it can do and hope that the developers will continue working on it. Okay, that's it for today's video. Hope you found it interesting and useful and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.